Well, g'day fishers, welcome to our Christmas fishing report. Holy dooly, I tell you what, it's certainly been a busy lead up to Christmas. We have been non-stop flat out. I reckon we could open 24 hours a day, but I do need to go and get some sleep at some stage. But uh, thank you to all our customers. It has been very, very busy. We've got plenty of new stock in and out, and we've got stock arriving every day just about, except for Christmas Day. So there you go, it's all happening at the moment. So the good news is we're out of that uh, weather that we've had over the last week, those southerlies, and it's been cold, but uh, over the weekend, especially over Christmas Day, if you manage to get a day off there uh, from doing Christmas stuff, when I get out fishing. But uh, it looks really good for the week coming up, that's for sure. So what's been happening? Well, in the bay, the bay's been fishing exceptionally well. The water's clear. There's been some good flatties about at the moment. So plenty of flatties about, some good ones too, uh, up in the 80 centimetre range. I might have snuck out and got a couple there over the other side towards Tea Gardens during the week. Uh, but some really nice fish, especially that shortcut area up Jimmy's Beach, Barnes's Rocks, or even up to the boulders there. Some really good flatties. If you're in the boat, or you can even shore base it as well, Back over on this side, the groins at Corlett fishing really well, just down from the anchorage there, those three little rock groins working really well for flatties. And so too Taylor's Beach as well, some really nice ones up there. I know Adrian in the shop here, he went up to Taylor's Beach flicking the flats and got some nice fish up around that 50, 60 centimetre range on those Jackson prawns. So some really good fish about on the flatty front at the moment. Also, speaking of the other side of the bay, Jimmy's Beach, when those northerlies blow, which we're gonna get some nor'easters, finally some summer weather. Uh, there's some really good whiting over that way as well. Some really nice whiting on the beaches over there. It makes a great afternoon if you can get a nice high tide in the Arvo. Flick some live worms out there. You'll get some really nice uh, sand whiting over there. Also on this side of the bay as well, I know just before Fly Point's been fishing well for, uh, for whiting and also too up towards the Anchorage Marina. And if you're in the boat, you can venture over to Tar Lee and those places there and up towards Taylor's Beach. So plenty of whiting around at the moment. Some good brim about as well, so the surface lure's working there, but uh, they'll quieten down a little bit when we get a little bit of boat traffic, that's for sure. Some nice dewies about, uh, some really nice fish actually. I spoke to Harley as well, he's been catching them. He's been sort of chips in the night there, catching some nice fish after dark on the vibes. Speaking of which, we've got a really good looking vibe coming in this week from Samaki. Uh, so they'll be in hopefully today, but uh, some really nice fish about in the, in the dewy department as well inside the bay, those tide changes are the key if you can get some live baits even better. And a few blue swimmers are around, starting to happen at the moment, but you have to uh, work for them. So no point just leaving the traps in there. You have to move your traps around and fish those tide changes and you will get blue swimmers. So it might be a little bit late for Christmas, but give it a crack anyway. So a few blue swimmers about at the moment. Starting to see a few squid around, a few arrow squid, especially around the marina. Uh, so give that a shot as well. So bay fishing particularly well. Uh, at the moment will be good over the next few days, that's for sure. Now on the beaches and the rocks, not many reports off the beaches and rocks, and that's because obviously the swell, but the water's warmed up, about 21 degrees. So, you know, that means plenty of whining on the beaches, that's for sure. So get up towards Fingal, uh, if the northerly starts to blow, then you've got Samurai as an option. Uh, Kingsley's a good one too, and then the northern side of Barubi fishes really well uh, for those whiting. Uh, there'll be a, still a few tailor about as well if you're keen on doing that, that first light or after dark. And it'd be worth a shot on the Mulloway. We're coming into those good nighttime tides, so it'd be worth a shot on a Mulloway over the weekend and into Boxing Day, I reckon, off the beach, that's for sure. We've got some good fresh yakas in for that if you're keen to do that, definitely. Now, off the rocks, like I said, not many reports, but I think now that swells back right off. It'd be worth a shot for a few tailor and, uh, and Benito spinning off the rocks at the moment. Heard reports of a few Benito getting around some of those points. So if you want to go for a spin off the rocks, definitely worth a shot for some Benito. Be worth a shot at a snapper too. So definitely worth a go there. Your bread and butter species, your drummer and Ludrick and things like that, they'll be around the washes, especially down off Cemetery Point there at Baruby. So worth a shot there. Now on the offshore scene, well, it has been a big uh, weather event during the week. So it hasn't allowed many people to get out there, but those that did venture out on some days uh, did get some really nice reds 
at the moment, so still some quality snap around. The trag has certainly moved in. Uh, there's plenty of trag on those reefs at the moment because that water has warmed up, so some really nice trags. The big gibber back down to the outer 21, the outer V, even the inner V would be worth a shot for some trag. And then down towards Boulder and Urala, all those reefs will do really well. I uh, spoke to Shane again. He snuck out yesterday and got a mull away. And in those deeper reefs, he got some nice fish. He got one up around 13 kilos. So you only have one fish each. So it makes it hard when the fish are schooled up. You catch one, or if you're with a mate, you catch another one, and you've got to go. But definitely worth a shot at this time of year. So those mull away schooling on those deeper reefs, that for sure. A few dolphin fish getting around uh, in that sort of... 100 meter mark around those traps there east of the little island they're only smaller dolphin fish but the bigger models are definitely out on the fad at the moment so i know that water's pushing down there won't be far away and uh, that water will move in we'll start to see a few black marlin turn up that's for sure i've already, already heard reports of one or two being hooked by a few fishermen that have been bottom fishing so there you go so it's not going to be far away and then inshore black marlin fishing is going to happen so to the shelf there's not much current on rip charts on the shelf, so it'll be worth a run out there at the moment. And it won't be long before we get a striped marlin bite and some bigger blacks out on the edge there as well. Some good kings around in the shallows, that water's warmed, and there's some really nice kings around in those shallow reefs. So if you're keen on live baiting and throwing some stick baits, definitely worth a shot. Those fish have been there for a good month now, and they are still there. They do get a little bit finicky, but uh, if you fish those tide changes, you will get them to bite. Anyway, that's it for our Christmas report. We'll be uh, open Boxing Day, 6 a.m., ready to rock, uh, and we'll give a report next week, our last report for the year. But anyway, I hope Santa's good to you and the big fella gets down the chimney.